Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Get Awesome Gaming. My name's Andy, and this is my Let's Play for Link's Awakening. Uh, I'd like to thank you for joining me and watching this, and if this is your first time, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, it greatly helps with the channel's growth. Anyways, let's get into this episode. This is episode 3 of my Let's Play. Uh, I want to apologize for my previous episode. It got a bit longer than what I anticipated. I thought that maybe I could do the same amount of content that I did in the first episode, but things just kind of got out of control and it was a lot longer than I intended to ask from my viewers. So going forward, I'll be monitoring my playtime and partitioning my episodes out in a way that's more consumable. So, I actually tried to record this episode yesterday, and I found out that to progress, you need to do a trade sequence that the game doesn't really inform you is necessary to progress, which is to be expected. This is an old Game Boy game, and those games were built essentially to waste your time. So, first thing I'm going to do is run you through the trade sequence and show you exactly what you need to do to move forward to the next dungeon. So first thing we're going to do is go over into this little hut here and try to get that little Yoshi doll that you see in the rewards there. Four new roads. So. Yeah, I may have not hit that right, but we'll see. No, oh, looks like that'll be good actually. Challenge again? No, I got what I came for for now. You got a Yoshi doll. You can't count how many games you've seen him in now. Okay. Whoa, you want a Yoshi doll? We've been trying to get that forever. Our mom is really desperate to have one. So that's the hint for your next spot you got to go to. Here and visit the mother. Uh? Oh, will you give that Yoshi doll to my baby? Well, sure. Oh, thank you. You are indeed a generous person. Ah, I will give you this in return. You traded your Yoshi doll for a ribbon. Maybe you can trade the ribbon for something else. So next order of business is we are going to take Bow Wow back and then trade the ribbon for the something else. Ho ho ho, I really appreciate what you did for my poor precious Bow Wow. You are such a nice boy, how can I ever repay you? I know. Smooch. That's just what I wanted, a kiss from a middle-aged lady when I'm clearly a child. You got a reward from Madam Meow Meow. L -l lucky Alright, well that's, that's an interesting interpretation of luck, but we'll go ahead and run with it. Madam Meow Meow, how I wish I'd received a visitor carrying a ribbon on their person. I would direct them to the doghouse on my premises, my chick baby Chow Chow has been pinning for a new, pining for a new accessory. Okay, so we go over here. Makeup, jewels, dresses, I want it all. Oh, that ribbon, I need it. Will you trade it for my dog food? Why sure. Lucky, thanks. Well, here's your dog food. You exchange a ribbon for some dog food. It's full of juicy beef. Glad to know it's at least quality dog food. Because you don't want that stuff if corn's the first ingredient. That's what I've learned from dog ownership. 
Okie doke. So we take that over to the big alligator who collects food. What? That's you have? It's canned food. For heaven's sake, man, give it to me, please. I'm gonna lose it if I can't get that can. Oh, thank you, I'll take that. Munch, munch. That was great. I know it's not a fair trade, but here's some bananas. Yum. You gave him dog food and got bananas in return. Good deal. Good deal indeed. Alright, so next we need to buy a few items that we're going to need to progress. That just saves us from backtracking. So we go back into town, and I'm also going to talk to Orira. I already know what he's going to tell me since I tried to record this earlier, but just so people know what direction we are heading in after we get the items. Bring, bring. Hi, it's Orira. Have you met everyone on the island? There's a man named Richard who lives in Pothole Field, southeast of the village. Why not pay him a visit? That's all I can tell you for now. Bye. Click. Alright, so that's just to show you that that's where we're going after we go buy the few items that we're going to need once we get there. First, we're going to buy the severely overpriced shovel. <laughs> you got a shovel, now you can feel the joy of digging. All you have to do is set it to X or Y on the social And some bombs. <laughs> Okie doke. All right, so now we're gonna go find Richard. I usually like to try to let my gameplay be more organic, but like I said, oh, let's go ahead and unlock this portal while we're here. Strange energy is pouring from here. You should find out what it does. I will do that at a later date. So what I was saying is I usually try to let my gameplay be more organic, but these Game Boy games, like I said earlier, are built to waste your time. And when you're making content, I'm unfortunately not built to waste your time, so in this particular episode, I'm going to be taking the path of least resistance. Salutations. You wouldn't know by the look of me, but I used to live in the castle. Actually, you look like you lived in a castle. My servants went berserk and I was forced to flee to my villa. So you're looking for something, are you? I may have just what you're after. But first I want you to retrieve the golden leaf I left behind in the castle when I fled. Okay. Smashing. To tell you the truth, there are five leaves and I want them all. Okay, you'll need to do some digging. So buy a shovel and off. And you're, are you off then? Good luck. Apparently I'm off to learning how to speak. Alright, so next order of business is getting to the castle, and that's what we need the bananas for. After a little hike through some new terrain, apparently. And here we are. Bananas, bananas, ooh ooh, give to Kiki. Bananas, bananas, ooh ooh, Kiki. Monkeys, come, repay him, Kiki. Monkey business done. Bye bye, ooh, Kiki. 
You found a stick, a monkey left behind. You take it. Alrighty then. So now here's where I'm not entirely sure. Okay, apparently that's not happening yet. So this is the new area, the area that I hadn't got to in my previous playthrough because... Oh, there we go. So now the next order of business is finding the leaves. we need to go into the castle, but he said we need to dig, so... That looks like a good spot for digging. Or falling into a hole. It's also a good spot for falling into a hole. Try digging here. Nope. And let's not fall into the hole. That would help. All right, you found a golden leaf. So he said he wants five golden leaves. Let's see if we can find spots that look like... Oh, they just respawn. Yeah, that's fine. I wonder if some of these are in the castle. Since we can go in, we might as well try it. Number three. You got a golden leaf. All right, so we need two more leaves. And we open. 
opened the gate. All right. Just gotta find those two more leaves and we are done. Okay, this looks like the bombs are gonna come into play here. that's probably our leaf guy. Wait a minute. Oh, you know what? There's a jarred logo. I was probably supposed to hit that with the jar. Nice. Okay. That was our first death, guys. That, that didn't work out too well. Let's go see Richard about the reward. And probably be careful because I didn't realize I only have a little bit of life left. Ah, Trebian, I see you have all recovered all of the leaves. Now move this statue and you will find your reward. Secret seashell, but what will you do with it? Uh, we needed that. 
Oh, come on now. Okay, so I'm not sure how to get to that. In the soil sleep secrets beneath your souls. You got the slime key, now you can open the gate to Uku Uku, or, yeah, Uku, Uku Prairie. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. Next episode, we will be tackling the third dungeon, I believe. As always, thank you for watching and tuning in. If you, Again, if you could leave a like, that would be greatly appreciated. It helps out the video. Uh, that'll be it. Until next time, be awesome to each other.